hello friends so today's question is remove element so what is given in this question is we are given an integer array nums and an integer value well so what we need to do is we need to remove all the friends of the well from this uh, array integer array nums and that we need to do is in place so what in place means is we don't have to use any new space we have to use the space which is provided to us in the form of input so we have to change this in this nums uh, integer uh, array only uh, we don't have to use any new space so what is given uh, here is the order of the element may be changed and what we need to return is the number of element in nums which are not equals to well so what is the scenario here is now we are having a nums integer array uh, with certain size like uh, for this case the, the size of this array is 8 and we are provided with a value which is k which is equals to 2 so what we have to do is we have to remove all the occurrence of this these elements and we have to remove a value for example uh, index j we have to remove this index that first j element of this nums contains element which are not equals to the value provided to us which is 2 so these are the considerations so this is given change the array num says that the first k element of the nums contain the element which are not equals to the value the remaining element of the nums are not important as well as the size of the nums so like uh, uh, suppose we are getting a value of js5 so as the size of this array is 8 so remaining last three element what we have we don't care like we don't have to give anything uh, they can be the duplicate value or can be zero so that does not matter and uh, the how now how we, we have to return the value of k like uh, in this case we will return the value of j and uh, so how our uh, solution will be just so we will remove the value we will return a value k from our function and it will short the nums array from 0 to k and then it will assert nums i what is the expected so if all the assertion are passed then uh, a solution is accepted so now uh, so uh, what uh, here approach we can use is like just like me remove so what we are given is uh, uh, the size of an array and uh, nums we are given so uh, yeah what approach we can use here is like uh, we can use two pointer approach so uh, now how we are using two pointer approach here is like first of all we need to traverse an array from starting index to end index so one pointer i will traverse this array from start to end then second pointer for example j we will keep as a placeholder so like j will indicate like at this place the element which is not equals to well need to be placed mm, so uh, like j will be placed here and i will be traversing from zero index to the end of the array so like we will check if current value which is pointed by i is not equals to the value which is given to us then we will replace that uh, then we will replace that i value with the jf one and if it is equals to the value which is given to us nothing we will do we will just increment the value of i uh, so like uh, if we will dry run in this scenario so for i is equals to one i is uh, i at zero index the value is zero so it is not equals to value so uh, the value at i and value at j will get uh, swept like uh, the value at i will be placed at the value of j so it will remain same so both will increment so j will be here and i will be pointing to here then uh, again it will check the, uh, check the value at i at i th index is not equals to value so what we will do uh, i th uh, the value of i index will be placed at the uh, uh, place at the uh, place at the index pointed by the j so uh, it will again remain the same then i will increase and j will be increased so j will be here and i will be here so now the value of uh, element which is pointed by i is equals to the value so nothing will be we will do we will just increment the value of i so i will be here again the same scenario then again we will increase the value of i so i will be here now what is the scenario here is now the value pointed by i is 3 that is not equals to well so what we will do we will replace the well uh, we will replace the value pointed by j with the value pointed by i so 2 will be replaced with 3 then j will increment here and j will be pointing to this and i will be pointing to this so again the value at i is not equals to the well so again it will replace the value pointed by j so 0 will be here and j will increase here 
and I will be pointing to the next element again. <coughs> so what a 4 is not equals to the value. So again, it will replace the value pointed by J. So it will be 4 and J will be at this index and I will be at in this index. Now I value is equals to the value. So nothing we will do. So I value will increase and it will be out of the loop. So now this is our required solution. This index this is our required solution so what we need to return we need to return the value of j in this case so that will be a desired value that will be k and uh, yeah so now we should implement the solution so what we are considering here is two point so first is integer j is equals to zero that will act as a placeholder and then integer uh, then we will iterate from starting element to the end of the array in i is equals to 0 i is less than nums dot size i plus plus so we will check if if the value which is pointed by i is not equals to well which is given to us then we will replace value which is pointed by j with the value pointed by i and then we will increment j as i will be incremented in loop and at the end of the loop well when the loop terminates we will return j so let me submit this code Yeah, it is. Let me sum it now. So it summit successfully. So now there are uh, two catches like why we are returning k. So what will happen now? Like the last value which is replaced, so j will be pointing towards this. So it is the extra we are covering. But what is the catch here now? Like k, they are actually k is not included in this. So uh, we will only have k minus one elements so now the time complexity so that uh, like we are traversing this whole array one time uh, through i so it's time complexity to capital o of n n will be the size of this nums so thank you for watching